channel if you are new hi welcome please subscribe to my channel i do a lot of makeup tutorials and makeup reviews so in today's video is gonna be about full color makeup i did first impression also try on in this video so this is the final makeup look that i created so if you want to know how i achieve this look keep on watching Hi guys, so today we're going to test out a bunch of full color makeup. So these stuffs I bought with my own money from full color official store in Shopee. But and you can purchase it from their website as well. But I noticed that the price in Shopee are much more cheaper than the price in their website. So buy from Shopee. So if you watch my live video in my Instagram, I, um, I did an unboxing for full color haul. So today we're going to test it out together. So I have pretty much full face of color makeup today but before that let me just moisturize my face with the Hatamugi skin conditioning gel and also apply my sunscreen I checked from Full Color website, they said they are a China brand based in Guangzhou. I noticed that from like the black box, it says made in China but formulated in Italy. But what's confirmed is that all of these products are shipped from China and the owners are also from China based in Guangzhou. So I want to do my eye first. So before we play with the eyeshadow palette, I want to do my brows first using the super fine artist pencil it comes in this box the ingredients and description uh, from the box are all in chinese and i cannot read some of the box uh, are in english it's very inconsistent if you followed me on instagram i showed you guys how interesting this eyebrow pencil is because it comes with a refill and I really like the packaging of this eyebrow pencil because it's very slim and it has like a cream color and this is what the pencil looks like, it's very fine and it comes with the spoolie at one end as well so I picked up this shade 03 brows so let's just swatch it at the back of my hand here to see how the formula is so it is not creamy at all it's like a pencil, I mean the pencil that you write on the paper. So that means that you will not overdo or overdraw the brows. You have a lot of control with the, with the eyebrow pencil which is nice. So the color that I pick 03 looks a bit ashy or against my dark brow hairs. I purposely chose this color instead of the other brown color but because I am scared that they will turn out and too warm against my skin. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. So this is what the brow looks like right now. So I want to show you guys their color options. So they have four color options. I chose 03 which is cool grey and they have these three other colors the darkest color here is called taupe deep brown and soft brown so now i'm going to conceal the brows using their concealer liquid long lasting concealer in the shade medium honey um, i don't think they have a new concealer range and this is the only concealer they have from their line so i chose the shade medium honey and it seems to be a bit peachy and let's just try it it looks like a corrector rather than a concealer so i chose the wrong shade The concealer does conceal my extra brow has the brow bone area but I'm not keen with the shade that I chose and that's okay so I think I'm gonna cheat in this video using other concealer for my under eye I'm still gonna use this as a, like a corrector to correct my dark circle under the eyes but I'm gonna top it off with other concealer shade that suits my skin tone because otherwise it will look weird okay this concealer does have fragrance in it and it's quite strong and I can smell it after I apply it on the brows so next we're gonna move on to the eye part I bought the Go Travel palette in the shade High Paris So this is what the palette looks like inside It has a pop of green and yellow And the other colours is quite um, wearable 
I chose this palette because the other palette has chunky glitters in it like a heart shape, a star shape. Um, I am not a fan of chunky glitters. Okay, I already primed the eyes using a lighter concealer shade and now I'm going to set it using the shade Versailles. I think I'm going to butcher all of these names and the palette. Set my entire eyelid with this shade. It has a cute luggage print on the Versailles, on this shade. So it has quite a bit of kickback if you're concerned about that. So next, I'm going to apply the shade Chateau. Chateau down here has a money back print on the shade. I'm going to apply it on the outer corner. So it picks up quite a lot of eyeshadow on the brush which is nice. So this shade is very pigmented. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Eiffel Tower and then blend out the first shade that we placed. So uh, the shade Monet is quite unique and it has like that marble pattern. So I'm going to swatch all the shimmers in here and I'm going to decide what shimmers I'm going to put on the rest of my eyelid. So I hope you can see the swatches. So the first swatch is the shade Monet and then the second one is the shade VN Rose. The third one here is the shade Corazon. And this gold one is the shade to Toileres. And the green shade is Macarons. Down here, the first shade is Luxembourg. The purple shade is called Bordeaux. And then this shade right here is called Grand Palais. And then the last shade is called Bastille. So these are the shimmery shades from the palette. So for today's eye look, I'm going to apply the shade Monet because I think that is the most unique shade uh, from the palette. I'm going to apply it using my finger. Once I tilt my head, you can see the multi-dimension glitters. There's green, there's gold. I think on the center where the two shades meet, I'm going to apply the shade V and Rose. Dab it. Okay, I'm also going to build up the outer corner shade, which is Chateau. And then blend out the crease using the shade Eiffel Tower. And then for the inner part of the crease, I'm going to apply the shade Elises. Elises. This shade right here. The lightest brown from the palette. Before we move on to the lower lash and also uh, on the face, I'm going to apply a black liner from them which is super fine liquid eyeliner. I think they only have one shade and this is what the eyeliner looks like. I really like this cream uh, packaging. So it's very weird. A fang or something. So I hope it works just fine despite of like the weird shape. So this one is a brush tip and not a felt tip. I'm going to catch this eye to speed and up. So this is an eyeliner result. I'm not a fan of the formula because it's the consistency is quite thin. Uh, when I apply it on the eyelid, it's a bit sheer. I do have to build up the formula and once I build it up, it's kind of picked up the ink underneath. So I'm not quite a fan of that but I'm able to create an eye wing with it. And now I'm going to clean the outer edge using the cleansing sheet they sent me. So this one has, it says here, Grapefruit Makeup Removal Cleansing Sheet. So it has scent but not very strong. It is a cleansing sheet like this. I'm going to use this to clean up the edges. So it's very easy to remove any uh, 
make up mistakes. So I only used just a tiny portion from the cleansing sheet. I'm gonna try to remove my makeup using this at the end of the video. So now I'm gonna apply foundation. It's from the brand Stay Genius Matte Full Coverage Foundation. Uh, this one is in the shade beige 06. So Stay Genius is the same brand as, as for color. I mean, it's under the same umbrella. I'm gonna take about that much and apply it on the skin. I don't purchase any primer from them because uh, I think they only have one primer and it's like a silicone primer. I'm not a fan of a silicone primer, so that's why I did not pick it up. The color is quite nice for my skin tone. It does have fragrance. I can already smell it. So this is 06, which is nice. This is the foundation applied on the skin and I really like the finish. It just covers my uh, dark spots over here and also over here. So now I'm going to apply concealer using the Focolor Concealer in the shade Medium Honey which I'm going to use as a corrector because like I said, the color is too peachy for my under eyes or for my skin tone. And then on top, I'm going to apply another concealer that suits my skin tone. Just to show you guys here, uh, the concealer is, actually has a nice coverage. I would say it has a medium coverage. So this is what the concealer looks like. It does cover my under eye circle, but I do need more coverage. So now I'm gonna set the concealer uh, uh. also on the entire face using the uh, loose powder in the shade O2 and let me just read the claim it says our micro powder can give your skin a soft airbrush quality it is entirely translucent allowing for a natural look it keeps your skin clear of oil all day long so let's see if it's up to the claims so I think they have like three color option and I chose the middle one so it just comes with a puff and they have a newer translucent powder but I did not pick it up because this one is like half the price from the new powder. Okay, it does uh, make the skin matter or like it does mattify the skin but for the under eyes, it makes it look cakey. It's maybe one of the reason I put two concealer on, on my under mm. eyes. I will try it again using like only one concealer and update you guys inshallah in the description box if I remember. So this is uh, my face already set. And I really like uh, the powder, how it looks on the, uh, my skin and not so for the under eye. Which is kind of contrasting from what I prefer because I prefer to use loose powder just for the under eyes and to set the entire face. I usually go for a compact powder because I want to add more coverage. But I like this loose powder for my entire face. So for contour and highlight, I'm going to use from the same palette. It's this Cult and Glow Highlight Palette Duo in the shade 03 Ipanema Sun and Champagne Pop. They are inspired from Big Becca. So this is what the palette looks like. I really like the packaging. It's plastic, it's white and it has like these gold leaves. It has a mirror and a contour powder and also a highlight. I'm gonna swatch the contour powder. It looks a bit greyish from what I prefer. Actually, I prefer a warm tone bronzer. But let's just try it together today. And this is in the shade Champagne Pop. The highlighter is very pretty, but the contour is very, very ashy. Let's see. So it's the name because it's a contour powder, so it's supposed to be a grey undertone. To me, contour is equal to bronzer because I don't usually contour my face. If you like want to bronze your face, this is not it. This is to contour. So let's move on to blusher before we move on to highlight. 
So for blusher, I only picked up this small mini one because it's uh, the cheapest blusher in the store. It's I think it's called Sweet Blusher or Candy Blusher, something like that. It's in the shade Pretty Coral CO3. I tried this blusher before and I really like it. I like the color, I like the formula. So this is Pretty Coral CO3. And next you can apply the highlighter from the Scalp and Glow palette. I'm not sure whether Focalo have the setting spray or not. But just remember I did not pick up any setting. So I'm gonna finish up the eye part. I'm gonna pick up the shade. Apply the shade Macarons, which is the screen shade on the center. I left off where I put the shade macarons on the center and for the inner corner and also inner part on the under eyes I put the shade Luxembourg here and then I did blend out all the colors here using the shade Ulysses I took this like precise blending brush and then blend all the shades together just on the uh, outer part here and then connect it on the upper lids I also did set my face with the setting spray, it's not from Focalore and I noticed that my foundation right now uh, turns a bit darker from the first one so it does have a little bit of colour in it so it does make my foundation looking a little bit ashy in real life but right now, I'm going to apply mascara so I have the volum volumizing mascara I'm also not sure whether they have other mascara. So the mascara looks like this. It has a black packaging. So the wand, normal brush wand. wand. So let's try the formula now. So if you are new to my channel, I don't wear false lashes. I just wear mascara and hopefully they work. They work for my short lashes. So this is first coat, this is without mascara, this is after applying mascara. It does volumize the mascara just a bit. Okay, this is what the mascara looks like. I'm going to apply on the lower lash line, not lower lash, lower lashes right now. Uh, you need to build up the formula on the lashes for before you can see the effect. And it does lift up the lashes. So these are my lashes right now with the mascara on. So I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made and we'll move on to the lip part. Stay Max Matte Lip. It's a soft and silk matte lip tint. Delivers a burst of creamy colors that dries down to a super matte. So it has a super matte finish. The stunning pigments can stay all day with minimal transfer while maintaining a comfortable wear. So the shade that I picked up is in the shade 12, J Jew. So it has a very chubby. Oh, no. This is not the one. So this is actually the product. So this one is in the shade Jeju 12. So this one I forgot to mention uh, and use it. This is the Focalor Red Wine Blusher. It's a cream blusher and it has a similar packaging with their uh, liquid lipstick. Picked up the wrong shade. This is not the color that I love. So for this shade, a very light pink, you have to really build it up to get full pigment from the product. This shade doesn't suit the eyes, so I'm going to change the uh, lip color. So I decided to take off the lip product and I have another lip product option. Which is a lip gloss and this one is in the shade 06 Diamond. So first I'm going to apply my uh, line my lips using the Kat Von D lip liner in the shade Lolita. Okay, lips are aligned. Now I'm going to apply the lip gloss. 
lip gloss is very pretty now the, sh the sun is shining it has a very pretty multi, multi glitters in it It's not as sticky as I expected, which is very nice. Okay, it has a pumping effect, a minty effect. And this is the finished look full face using full color makeup. So I think that's it. And my favorite product product from today's video is of course the eyeshadow. I really like the glitters in here. The matte that I tried today uh, so far works well. And I'm going to try the other shade I did not touch in this in today's video, in future video. I also like the highlighter in the Sculpt and Glow palette. I don't know why I expect it to be a bronze shade. Obviously, it says Sculpt, so meaning that it's going to create shadow for the face. So obviously, it's going to be cool tone. I also love the blusher, like I said earlier. And what else? Um, the mascara is okay for me. The lip plumper, the lip gloss is okay for me. Um, the liquid lipstick, I don't like the shade. I don't know about the other shade, but for the formula, it's kind of okay nothing revolutionary for the eyebrow i love the formula but i don't like the shade and for the eyeliner i don't like the formula i really love the foundation i don't know where it goes it is in a small bottle i really love the foundation shade that i picked up and also the formula is very nice it remind me of the drugstore formula which is very nice i only got it for four ringgit for that small bottle and for the loose powder, it's not my favorite. It's kind of making my skin looking a little bit cakey and it kind of changes the color of the foundation. I also picked up this uh, liquid eyeshadow that I haven't got the chance to try today. Maybe I will try it in the future video, inshallah. I think that's it for today's video. If you love makeup review, makeup tutorial and also hauls, please do consider to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you guys in my next one. Bye. Assalamualaikum.